Hello ladies and gentlemen, 52 Super Luigi here, and welcome to my top 5 third party Wii U games. Let's begin, shall we? Number 1. Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U. Your greatest enemies. Surprise, B-Man! To uncover the hidden truth. To survive Arkham City. Step into Batman's armored suit and become the Dark Knight like never before in the redesigned Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U. The most immersive version of 2011's best action game. Are you going to be a good boy and give up nicely? Now, let's take a look at how the Wii U's new controller will revolutionize how you play Batman Arkham City and get you closer to the action than ever before. By using the Wii U's new controller, you will have instant access to the Bat computer throughout the game. This game is really amazing. I'm not even kidding. It's If you guys have a Wii U and you're a Batman fan, I recommend it. Because you don't just get to play as Batman. You get to play as Catwoman, too. And other people that I'm not going to spoil. Able to detect their position, drop into place, and take out the guards without being seen. Another exclusive Wii U feature in Batman Arkham City is the all-new BAT mode. During combat, a player's BAT meter will fill up until it eventually maxes out. Once you've reached your max, you'll be able to use the new controller to activate BAT mode, making Batman even more powerful and able to dole out more damage. In order to uncover it's fucking the dark great. Behind Arkham City, this game's amazing. Do some investigative work. In this scene, Batman needs to scan the area, looking for evidence left behind by the ninja assassin. When switching to the evidence scanner, you'll be able to use the new controller to check the area, search for clues around the room, and scan the evidence. Once you've located the blood trail left behind by the ninja assassin, follow its trail to a lock. Sorry about that. You probably noticed that you saw a cat. That was uh, my new kitten that I showed you in the last video, uh, Bella. So. The door reveals a new challenge, a switch that needs to be activated using a remote control batarang. After selecting the batarang from the gadget menu and launching it at the switch, you'll be able to use the new controller to guide it with an unprecedented amount of accuracy. Faced with a room full of enemies, even the odds by strategically placing explosive gel throughout the corridor's weakened walls. With the explosive set, it's just a matter of waiting for the perfect time to attack. When your enemies are in place, use the new controller touchscreen to set the explosives off one at a time or all at once. To survive Arkham City, you'll need to use stealth gadgets and blunt force and with the wii u's new controller you'll have access to batman's entire arsenal with the touch of a finger the most immersive batman experience has arrived and that is number one. in at number two is black ops 2 for the wii u do i even have to say it I mean, Black Ops 2 is the fucking shit. Granted, Black Ops 3 is the new Black Ops, but holy shit, man. We didn't get Black Ops 3 like we were supposed to, so fuck y'all. Black Ops 2 is a really good game, and I'm really good at it. Getting owned. And that was the short trailer by this guy. Unfortunately, that's what happened because... Unfortunately, um, yeah, we don't need to see this next video, but unfortunately, um, that's all they had for Black Ops, uh, 2 for the Wii U, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. So, oh, and so far, just in case you guys don't believe me, yeah.
There, there it is. There it is. Blood and blood right there. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Wii U Arkham City. And at number two, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So next will be Wii U Assassin Creed 3. Let's do it. So this game is really good. I like the story. I like where it takes place because I'm a history nerd. And uh, I just love the Assassin Creed series. And uh, my opinion, Assassin Creed 3 is the best. My opinion. And die in the name of freedom. They speak of liberty and justice. But for who? But this game's really good, like, I mean, you know, granted, now, Assassin 3 and 4 are for the Wii U, along with PlayStation and Xbox, but, yeah, it's, uh, this game, you know, really good, I know some of y'all that prefer the PlayStation and Xbox. With these type of games, it's probably like, oh, you got it for the Wii U, you're a loser, huh? And you know what? Fuck you, I don't care. Because it's still great. And you know what? The Wii U has HD, so it looks just like it would look like on your fucking Xbox and PlayStation. But yeah, this game's really amazing. I love it. And if you guys have a Wii U and love the Assassin's Creed series, I recommend it. And like I said, it's my favorite because, to be honest, out of all of them, three is my favorite, my most favorite. But that's my opinion, like I said. You guys might rather like four or five or even the newer ones that came out or the first one. Who the fuck knows? The very, very first one. But yep, that was Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U. At number 4, we have Mass Effect 3 for Wii U. If you don't believe me, Here it is, blood and flesh. Oh, and just in case, you know, you guys are like, oh, that's a fake case. <laughs> Here. Because there's some people I've met that don't believe that there are third party games like this for the Wii U. So look, there's the fucking this. Wii U Mass Effect 3. Here's the back of it. So you can suck it. And I, and you know. I'm going to be doing Let's Plays of it soon anyway, too, so... Alright, let's begin the trailer so you guys can see. And Mass Effect 3 is the fucking shit, obviously. I mean, it's a fucking great-ass game. It's basically like Halo, but not as good, but still pretty good. Fucking love that shit's hilarious.
I remember seeing this too. She turns around and... Yep. <clears throat> This game's actually very sad, in a way. Basically, alien invasion, and the little girl got killed. Yeah, that's upsetting. But yeah, this game is really great, guys. If if you want action-packed, good story, and the choice, what makes Mass Effect 3 so great is that you have, you could, well, I think all the Mass Effects have been like this, but you just have so many choices. And then there's the sex scenes. Let's be honest, it's mostly for the sex scenes, but you could choose, depending on what you say and what you choose to do, because there's going to be moments where you get to choose what you have to do. This is for people that have never played Mass Effect or doesn't know what it is. It's literally an action-packed shooting game, and there are scenes where you have a choice to say something or do something that can impact the entire game. So to have the choice and the control to go certain paths is great. So last and not least, number five. For the Wii U Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. Yeah, thank you that, motherfucker. And what's great about this is the special modes where you can. Look, not only. Like, you probably barely see that. It can't really focus on that tiny shit. She's one of my best characters, by the way. But, uh, there's, um, anyway, there's, uh, there's a uh, special modes, like, not only, because it's the Wii U edition, um, you can dress them up as Mario and all that, Captain Falcon, Link, Luigi, Princess Peach, Zero Suit, Samus, and then, and some of the characters actually pull them off, depending on how they look. Like, this bitch right here pulls Zero Suit Samus off perfectly, because, I mean, she looks just like her, to be honest. Now, the special events are where you fight with mushrooms and superstars. It, it's fucking ridiculous, but it's great. So, at number five is Tekken Wii U Edition Tag Team Tournament 2. And it's fucking amazing. One of the best fighting games ever, one of the best fighting series ever, and one of my most favorite fighting series ever. But like I said before, you get to dress up as Nintendo characters, and some of the characters make them work. And then there's also the fact that this shit, special mode, yeah, you fight with fucking mushrooms and shit. I wasn't kidding. It's pretty fucking stupid, but funny at the same time. Well, Jesus Christ. And you dress up, too. Yeah. <laughs> she does not pull the OC Sanders off. I don't know why they showed her. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing, right? I bet some of you guys have had your minds blown in some of these games you probably didn't expect to be on the Wii U, but goes the show. Don't talk shit about the Wii U, kids. Get good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my top five third-party Wii U games. I hope you enjoyed, 52 Super Easy out, and by the way, happy Thanksgiving. Later my boys and girls, love you, bye.